In this video I'm going to try to explain more about uh, the section and the uh, column uh, elements. Uh, these two are very very important. They're the ground base of the page builder. They hold elements. They're uh, build, essentially building a page and uh, I think they're the most important uh, elements uh, from the page builder. So I'm going to start with the section. I'm going to edit this page with the page builder. And I'm going to search for the section. As you can see, it's fully stretched from the left to right. It's um, a section is uh, basically a container and uh, it can have two states one that's fully stretched and one that's um, a fixed width by default a section holds a column it's automatic automatically added because uh, nothing can 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 be added no element can be added straight to the section only a column it's the column it's uh, uh, the only element that's that stands between a uh, section and a uh, normal uh, element. So we're having a section which we can uh, style it quite uh, quite distinctively. I'm going to, as you saw, I uh, I access the uh, its options. I will change the background so you can. Uh, see how it looks I'm going to let's put a, a green so as you can see um, this is uh, this um, box it's actually hidden in the normal uh, in the normal view it's only seen into the uh, page builder mode so no worries about that and let's play with the with the options. We have a uh, top padding, bottom padding. We have a uh, section size. As I said before, we can make it a fixed width or a full width. Now, automatic in in this in this situation, uh, the columns are uh, fully stretched, and uh, this column right here is. Um, has 12 columns and it's as you can see it's fully stretched from left to right this option is for in case uh, you want to overflow the, the overflow of the element should be hidden meaning uh, nothing should uh, uh, nothing should uh, come out from the from the element uh, before the boundaries now we can also add a custom CSS class. This is for, I don't know, for customizations. We can establish a gutter size. We'll get back to this option when we're going to play with the columns. And we have the background and styles uh, options. So as I did before, we have uh, a background color uh, option. You can change the color live. We have a background source type. We can add uh, an image background, a self-hosted video, a YouTube video, or an embed and iframe. So we're going to test with an image. We're going to browse for an image. Let me search for a full image. And let's take this one. Now, unfortunately, images are not added directly. You have to close the element and it will automatically save. I'm going to get back to the options. And go to the background options we're going to select no repeat let's tweak it a bit to look uh, 
or much better. We're going to select the center, center, and we're going to select uh, as a background size uh, cover, which will stretch uh, fully in the, into the uh, section. So let's save it. If you want, you can play a bit more with the, the padding to make it a bit uh, bigger in height. And we can uh, add a parallax uh, scrolling effect, which only if enabled you have to refresh the page. And we can also add a background color, the overlay, a normal color, a horizontal uh, gradient, and a vertical gradient. Let's select uh, horizontal gradient and choose to distinct color, let's say orange. We can set an opacity. I'm going to put around 60 for 0 0.6. And the second color, let's say green. We're going to also select 75. So let's save it. Oh, it's quite full. Let's make it a bit more transparent. So yeah, something's wrong here. So actually, uh, just had a quick, <laughs> quick look over the uh, the background, and uh, it seems that um, because of uh, this uh, parallax effect uh, option. Um, this uh, background is fully uh, opaque. So, to give you an example, if I hit the view page, as you can see, there's this uh, scrolling parallax effect. So, no worries here. I'm just going to disable it for the moment. Great, and let's save. As you can see there's an orange background here and a green here you can you can play a lot with these colors I mean you get you'd get surprised how you how much uh, uh, how how attractive you can make uh, an image so let's increase it a bit bigger and you can enable a glass uh, overlay but I usually recommend it only for uh, full color, not when uh, an image is uh, uh, selected. So, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, let's uh, enable it. As you can see, it's quite um, faded, but on a full color, it's very visible and uh, it's quite, uh, quite uh, pleasant. So the last option in the section is the bottom mask. You can select, for example, a vector mask uh, aligned to the left. I'm going to save, and as you can see, here is a I don't know a bump, or I'm not sure how to <laughs> call it and uh, discrete shadow and a small arrow pointing to the bar. There are several uh, uh, bar masks styles. For example, let's say five. As you can see it has this bar right here which is out of this world. And um, 
and that's about it well, with the section let's make it back to a fixed width and that's about it so basically this is a, a section which holds a container it only holds a container it does not hold any other element while a column on the other hand holds elements so let's talk now about the columns but we're going to do that in the next uh, video thanks for watching